Today's topic is Abdominal Distension. An abdominal distension is an outward expansion of the abdomen beyond the normal girth of the stomach and waist. In another word, abdominal distension is a visible or actual increase in abdominal size. Abdominal distension is not a disease in itself, but rather a symptom or indicator of an underlying disease or dysfunction in the body. The distension may be caused by gas or fluid collection that causes an outward expansion of the stomach and waist beyond normal position. A swollen abdomen is often uncomfortable and even painful. Causes Abdominal distension can be caused by a number of different disease and conditions such as Excessive eating Air swallowing Aerophagia Inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's disease Irritable bowel syndrome Constipation diabetes, heart failure, cirrhosis, ovarian cancer, certain medications such as antidepressants, celiac disease, ascites, cystic fibrosis, diverticulitis, giardiasis, hookworm disease, kidney stones, pregnancy, weight gain, small bowel bacterial overgrowth syndrome, polycystic liver syndrome, Quashiorcor, premenstrual syndrome, coccidiosis, lactose intolerance, Whipple's disease, dyspepsia, food allergy, a hernia, yellow fever, tropical sprue, bowel obstruction, infective endocarditis, hepatitis A, B, C, or E, alcoholic liver disease, appendicitis, malassorption syndrome, symptoms, the feeling of fullness and discomfort, belching, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, possible fever, abdominal pain or cramping, shortness of breath, diagnosis and treatment. To determine the cause of abdominal distension, a careful medical assessment is needed. The doctor starts the evaluation by taking a complete medical history looking for any previous condition and performing a thorough physical examination. The physical examination is done by percussing the stomach. The patient may also be questioned about the diet, existing allergies, and medications. Further investigation can be done by taking blood tests, liver function tests, urinalysis, and kidney function. Imaging tests such as ultrasound, endoscopy, and barium x-ray can also be used. Treatment Treatment option depends on the individual and the case of the swelling. The treatment plan may be determined by the patient's age and other coexisting diseases. Abdominal distension caused by irritable bowel syndrome may only require diet and lifestyle changes to help manage the condition, which may reduce symptoms. Getting more exercise to keep the digestive tract to work more efficiently. Eating smaller meals and eating at a slower pace. Avoid consuming carbonated beverages. Medications may be required in case of inflammatory bowel disease to help reduce inflammation. If the condition is due to excess fluid assumption within the body, a diuretic may be recommended by the doctor. This will help reduce swelling and relieve symptoms. Individuals with lactose intolerance are advised to avoid dairy products and maintain a low-fiber diet. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.